Hey everybody, once again I'm reviewing two more bottles of water. First up is Trader Joe's Alkaline Water with Electrolytes. Next up is Watt-uh. That's what it's called. It's called Watt-uh. These both have a high pH level. They both have a similar shape. I mean, it's a different size, obviously, but it's a similar shape. They're sort of like, um, sort of like smart water bottles. They have the rounded tops and just a smooth side. And feels like a, you know, very similar type of plastic, uh, very similar lids. So, what, uh, is bottled in Concord, New York. That's where the water is from. It has electrolytes with magnesium chloride, potassium chloride, and monopotassium phosphate. And it has a high pH level. It doesn't say exactly how high the pH level is, but it just says pH plus. And I think this is targeted at, like, children. I think it's a really condescending bottle, though. It has, like, a crying baby on the front. It's like, well, I don't want water. That's, that's like, what he's saying. <laughs> he's like, I, I don't want water. I want something else. I think it's really condescending to kids. Just, like, to... Say, this is what we think of you kids. We think you're little crybabies. You know? I think it's a... It's a nice bottle, but I think this is, logo is bad, in my opinion. Okay, this next bottle is from Trader Joe's. It has a pH level of 9.5. This was bottled in Monrovia, California. It has potassium chloride, potassium bicarbonate, and magnesium sulfate. Uh, it's a pretty standard um, bottle. It doesn't even have like a real name. It's just called... Trader Joe's alkaline water. I think a neat thing about both bottles is that the labels are both double-sided. So if you look at it this way, you see, you know, one picture in text. But if you flip it around, this is a different picture when you look through it. It's that same way with um, with both bottles. Like they even have, you know, a quote from what the person is saying, what the little kid is saying. If you flip it around, it has a different little quote in there. They even have the um, the website, just in case you're looking through the bottle for some reason. It's just kind of a neat little touch. So let's open them up. See which one tastes better. Hmm, it's kind of like a salty taste, kind of, a little bit. This is a uh, half a liter. This is a full liter. Hmm. Huh. There's no aftertaste, but there is like a taste when it's in your mouth. Um, it's kind of like... <laughs> This is kind of like sweet and salty at the same time. It has like a weird, weird flavor to it. Yeah, like a sweetness. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, um, you know, this one, on the front of it, it says it has electrolytes. So... Electrolytes are basically like salts. Um, so I was kind of expecting this one to taste kind of salty, but this one does. This one tastes like sort of like salt water. Which I don't really like. Um, yeah, I prefer this one definitely, this Trader Joe's water. I mean, honestly, neither neither of these are great. I'd give them both um, like a sideways thumb. I wouldn't give either of these a thumb down or a thumb up. I'd give them both a sideways thumb. Hey. 
Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about either bottle. So let me just finish it up, I guess. All right, thanks for watching. Trader Joe's is the winner, and Trader Joe's is moving on to the next round. And just for the record, this was from the store Giant Eagle. It's not, it's not a Giant Eagle brand, but it's from a grocery store, Giant Eagle. They sell it at other stores, but that's where I got it. These are both kind of expensive. I don't remember, remember the exact price, but they're both, you know, a lot more expensive than an average bottle of water. So thanks for watching, everyone.